Hey, what's up everyone? Mike here from The Art of Guitar. I recently took down an old video that we did called The Robot Trick, and uh, a lot of people asked me about it, and I think I referred to it in another video, so people were looking for it and being like, where is this thing? And the other day I was practicing blues piano. It's kind of my uh, addiction right now. I'm trying to get better at that. And I started to practice my scales, and I realized that I wasn't making very good progress. And so I thought about it, I'm like, you know, what do I do on guitar that helps me that I could apply to the piano as well? And I remembered the robot technique. And so um, when I show you what it is today, you're going to see that if you apply it to your practicing technique on any instrument, in my opinion, uh, you should be able to pick up techniques a lot quicker, as well as being able to remember them and to be able to do them without even thinking about it over time. So in a shorter amount of time, I should say. So here's what the robot technique is basically uh, centered around. It's the idea of sending a really good signal to your brain. I always picture back in the day when we would dub tapes, you know, showing my age here, dubbing a tape to a blank tape so that you could, um, you know, have two copies of it. You'd put a cassette in and you would record it onto another tape. Now, if you had a level adjustment on that and you didn't have enough sound going to the other tape, you'd get a really low volume on the second tape and you'd get a lot of hiss, a lot of noise. And I realized when I was practicing piano that I was practicing kind of light and smooth and I wasn't sending a strong enough signal to my brain. So I was getting a little bit of information, but it was it was more noise than anything. And to apply it here on the guitar, here's what it would, here's an example of it. A long time ago, I was trying to do a G major legato run and it went like this. I'll go kind of slow. <laughs> That's the concept of it. And it wasn't clean, I couldn't get it to sound very good. And uh, it's because for weeks at a time I was practicing it like this. See how it's a little bit, I don't know, it's just kind of weak when I play it. I'm not really uh, committing to anything, I'm sort of just hoping to get through it. And that's a really weak feeling, I hate, I hate being at the mercy of a technique. So actually this was born out of sort of um, a little bit of aggression because I was getting mad and I'm like <laughs> totally overdoing it, you know, just to blow off some steam. And what was kind of funny is when I finally settled down a little bit, I realized that I was actually coming up with a new way of practicing that was actually beneficial. Because a day after doing that, not that spazzy, but when I calmed down a little bit, I was actually remembering things a little bit better and things felt more natural right away. So here's what you want to do. You almost want to act like you're practicing like a robot. So a robot is not going to have a lot of finesse. It's not going to be barely playing. It's going to be very mechanical, of course, if it's robotic. So I started being very mechanical about my practicing. So I would do something like this. You see how strong I'm hammering on and pulling off? Almost to the point where it looks like bad technique because I'm lifting my finger so high, but that's only to get a really good snap into the next note. And when I pick the next string, I'm not just lightly touching it, I'm giving it a good pick. So everything's really sending a strong signal to my brain now so it has a better chance of remembering it. So remember to do it slow enough so you have uh, a good flow to it and uh, you're not rushing through it and getting sloppy, but you're doing it slow enough to where you could play it really strong and teach your brain the right way. Okay, let's do the whole run at a slow robotic pace. <laughs> Now, keep in mind the robot technique works as well for picking, actually just as well if not better because a lot of people need the right hand to play correctly as they're doing runs. Uh, it's kind of funny when people start doing the robot technique with their picking, how fast they're picking and starts locking together in a new way. If you're practicing like this, I see a lot of people do that, that's where they get stuck and they sound like that forever. When you, the way you practice is the way you're going to perform. So if you just do a slow robot technique of that picking, it almost sounds like I'm going to break my strings. You can't worry about your strings, by the way, when you're doing the robot technique. Let's go back to the legato now. 
I started speeding up. Like the next day I would wake up and remember my tr uh, trick about practicing right when you wake up. It seems to help a lot. Well, all of a sudden I started getting this flow because now I wasn't doing the robot as much the second day. I was lightening up a little bit. <laughs> The cool thing was all the benefits of the robot technique were still in my fingers, but now I could lighten up and have it a little more smooth sounding. Because you don't want to be on stage hammering away at those hammer-ons and pull-offs and, you know, really overdoing it. You want to eventually relax a little bit and make it sound smooth. So then the third day, weird things started happening. I started getting really clean runs and I'm just like, wow, it's starting to be a little more like Satriani, what I was going for at the time. So whatever you're having trouble with, take a little, like maybe a one measure run of some kind, maybe a lick and try to do it slow and deliberately, like overplay it, play it like a robot would. Okay. Step by step, everything very strong, very calculated. Send that song, strong signal to your brain, and then the next day, see what happens. It'll probably uh, be a lot easier the next time you play it. It's sort of kind of a miracle technique for a lot of shredders out there that I know want to get really fast at things, but they feel like they're always sloppy. So give the robot technique a try and uh, see if it helps you guys out, and let me know in the comments if it has, okay? I know it's going to help a lot of people. So, okay, take care. We'll see you at the next video. Thanks, everyone.